Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to disable the grouping of applications in the taskbar when you open multiple copies. So let's say we want to open up Notepad, for example, and then another instance of Notepad. You can see it groups them together on top of each other. And then if we change the option here for combine taskbar buttons and hide labels to never, then they'll actually go side by side in uh, separate icons down here. But if you want to use this mode here, but still have them separated, uh, there's a way to do so. So let me close these out here. All right, so to accomplish this, we're going to be using the free Windhawk app. So we've used this for uh, many of our videos. So this is used to install mods that change how uh, Windows looks and operates. So the app is free, the mods are free, so you just have to find the right one and add it to your uh, Windhawk list of mods here. So after you install it, you'll have your home section with your installed mods and your featured mods. And then you could go to explore and search for mods or browse for some mods here. You know, sort them by newest and most popular and that type of thing. All right, so the one we want is called disable grouping on the taskbar. So if you search for that here, then once you find it, click on details and install. And then you'll find it in your home section here under installed mods. So then you can enable it here, or go to Details, enable it here, and remove it if you don't want to use it. All right, so we're going to enable it. And if you go to the Settings tab here, it has a couple settings. For pinned items mode, place ungrouped items together, and use window icons, which doesn't seem to change much unless you're uh, using something specific. And then you can make your own custom groups if you want to. Research that, and you could also exclude some programs if you don't want to do that as well. Then it also has a section here you could enable if you're using Explorer Patcher. All right, so we're just going to use the basic settings here. So now if I open up Notepad, now if I open another instance, you can see we have our smaller icons, but we have separate instances. And now let's say I opened up Calculator. And notepad again, you can see it's separated so they're not even side by side, but you can change that with this option here to place items next to each other to group them. Just make sure you click on save settings each time. So now if I click on notepad again, you can see it's next to it. It doesn't separate it if there was something that was opened in between. So that's a nice feature there. All right, so what if we close these out here? And then go back to the never mode here for combined taskbar buttons. So now we could turn this off, save it. Let's open up Notepad again. And again. All right, so now they're next to each other, so let's open up Calculator. And Notepad again. So as you can see here, you can still use this mod to kind of keep them ungrouped or not next to each other if you want to do that when using this mode on the taskbar. So now let's close this guy here. Let's open Notepad again. And now you can see they're next to each other. So you still can sort of use this mod uh, when you're using the never option for combined taskbar buttons and labels, but it does work the best when you turn this to always because you can actually separate applications instances when you have more than one open. All right, so hopefully that made sense. So I think the best way to go about it is to just uh, try out Windhawk, install this mod, and start playing with the settings and see which way works the best for you. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download Windhawk. And like I said, just search for disable grouping on the taskbar in the Explorer section here. Click on Details and Install. Make sure it's enabled. And then if you change any of the settings, make sure you click on the Save Settings button each time. And then one other side note, a Windhawk needs to be running here in the system tray for your mods to work. So if they ever stop working, just come here and check. And if it's not here, just you know reopen it. And it should be set to start with your computer automatically. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.